Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar channel. This week we're gonna be installing the charging system. Let's get to it. For this week's sponsor, we have Astro AI. So this is a high performance jump starter at 1500 amps. This can jump start anything from a six liter gas engine to a three liter diesel engine. Basically any other engines with a 12 volt battery like motorcycles. It's got smart technology that senses that the battery is lower than nine volts and it has a boost button which will actually provide more jumping power. The other thing is nice, it's got a lot of safety features. It has a little 10 watt wall charger that protects it from excessive heat. It also has eight integrated protections such as like reverse polarity. So if you get the wrong lead, on the wrong battery terminals, overcurrent, over voltage, over load, over charge, over discharge, and short circuit protection. So it's really small, it fits in the palm of your hand, and it weighs less than one pound. So we'll make sure this has got full charge, and then we'll go jumpstart a vehicle. Also super nice, they give you a bag to carry it all in, so you can stow it away nicely in your car. All right, we are here with the daily driver. I just hooked it up to a battery tester, it says, it's in the yellow range, so maybe not the best, but we'll get this jump starter going and it'll crank it right over. It's nice that it's just really so compact, you can kind of put it anywhere. Just give you a little close up here. It gives you a nice bright green light if everything's connected correctly. I'll just show you in case we uh, do it backwards. So it's got an audible sound as well as a red light. So we are good to go. So again, normally this car kind of goes you know, So it takes like a couple seconds to get it started. My guess is this will start right up. So again, that's awesome. It worked so fast. So again, I think this would be really good for family members, young drivers, spouses, grandparents, things like that. Again, just good safety thing to have in the car. It's got a lot of helpful things so they don't have to know a lot to use it. So it makes it really ideal to keep in your car for emergency situations. So if you're interested in a product like this, I'll leave a link in the video description below. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are working on this Nissan 300ZX and we are going to be electrifying it. This guy's gonna get a 600 horsepower Tesla motor and we've got to implement some charging to make everything happen. We're gonna to continue to use our new workflow where we scan, then we create some CAD designs, 3D print to kind of test things and make the parts from Send, Cut, Send. To get this guy to charge, we've got a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger from AEM. It's a combination charger that does DC to DC converting as well as charging. We also have a unique charge port that we got from AmpreVolt. All right, we are at the back of the Nissan. And what I'm looking at here, that is kind of the uh, gas tank flap fill port. Um, we're gonna reuse that for the charge port. So I'm just gonna do a quick scan and try and reuse one right there and one right there. So we're gonna try and reuse those and make a new bracket. All right, so here's the scan. We did color on this one. Again, I think that'll allow us to get a pretty good design for a bracket. So let's get this into CAD. Now that we have the scan, you can see it's really good quality. And what I do in CAD is I actually put some circles over the parts that are key. So where we're gonna put fasteners, in this case, the opening, and that helps me with the design. Here's the design I came up with and put it into the slicer and make a 3D printed part. This is AmpreVolt. This is a charge port, but it's actually uh, made from aluminum. So again, almost all the ones you see are plastic and they don't look super high quality. So they offer this one that's made out of metal and I think this will work perfect right in the gas cap location. All right, so here's the 3D printed part. Um, turned out okay. We're gonna see if it fits. So that's what it'll look like. I think that'll work good. So we'll go test fit in the car and see uh, if we need to make some modifications. All right, and here's what it looks like. So not too bad, we got a little gap here and maybe a little gap at the top. So I think I want this, if possible, to come from the other side so the bolts could go through on this side. But I don't quite see how that's gonna work because we've got some of these features that are big. So I'll have to see how we can do that. And yes, I'm noticing that this is upside down. We've got some parts from Send, Cut, Send. This is hopefully the last part of our workflow. So we've got uh, 3D scanning, uh, we do some modeling, do some 3D printing, and then final part. So we're gonna open this and see how well we did. And so here, this will be uh, interesting, make sure everything fits, but uh, this is for the charge port. This is for the combined charging unit. Uh, 
All right, we've got it uh, somewhat in place. We'll take a look at what it looks like from the outside. All right, here's what it looks like from the outside. Again, it looks really good. I um, may have to trim down some of these things where they put the uh, gas cap here. I have to trim those, make sure it gets closed okay, but that looks really sharp. So now that we've got the charge port installed, the next part is the charger itself. Again, we got a combined charging unit which combines DC to DC converting as well as the onboard charging. The first step again was scanning. After we got a good scan, we put it into CAD, modeled a bracket that would hold the CCU or combined charging unit and ordered it from Send Cut Send. All right, next we have this plate. This is to mount the combined charging unit. All right, another bracket we've got is for the circuit breaker. So we're just gonna go ahead and bolt that on and get the wires wired up. All right, so this bracket's actually gonna go above the CCU right there. And interestingly enough, it's probably one of the strongest mounts in the whole car. I think it held up the drive shaft, holding up one of the smallest things we got. We've got the uh, AC wires coming from the charge port into the combined charging unit. And I got them over here, got some cable clamps so that things are kind of nice, tidy out of the way. It's going up over the subframe. So I just need, I think I've got some large heat shrink that I might put over that, uh, just to make a good connection. Either that or just use some tape. But that's good. That's uh, mounted, all the wiring. Here is done. We've got uh, some low voltage wires. This actually goes to the VCU, not to the charger. So we can route that. Uh, we'll likely do that later when we're wiring things for the VCU. All right, I've got the uh, wiring diagram or the pinout here, and we're just gonna go ahead and hook up the connectors, the wires to run. This is for the combined charging unit. This is all the low voltage stuff, so like the CAN wires, communication wires, wake up, things like that. We have this plug now wired, got all the labels and everything. So we'll go ahead and put it in the car and kind of start routing the wires. All right, so we've got things wired from the charge port, got things kind of neatly, all the wires neatly mounted. Um, and then we got it to the combined charging unit. And then again, from here, these ones aren't connected to anything yet, but this will go to the high voltage system. I need to get some bigger gauge wire for the 12 volt. Um, in case anybody's wondering, we're planning to cover the entire underside like with a panel, like fiberglass or something. So none of this should be affected by road debris. Got the circuit breaker wired there on top. And from there, 
Uh, we've got kind of all sorts of wires coming to various spots. I've got the 12 volt DC to DC um, cables going up here to the battery. The other ones are just kind of, they're just terminated here for now. Um, some of them will go in here and this goes to the VCU. Um, others will go to the BMS, which is gonna be in the battery box, which will sit right here. And this one is for the VCU. So we're gonna go try them out and see how good we did. All right, so first test, uh, this is the VCU. This is what it goes with and Good, so it looks like it fits. So now, we'll see if these holes line up in the floorboard. So there it is all installed. I think it looks really good. Got space for the plugs there. Pretty sure the uh, board, everything still fits. All right, and you can see over here, that's kind of where the uh, this wood plank kind of mounts. So we've got plenty of room, um, but yeah. So we've got one success. We're gonna go try the accelerator pedal. All right, we've also been working on the accelerator pedal. So this is again from the Tesla. And we were able to utilize essentially those mounting points from the existing pedal. Um, we've also kind of got some points up there that we're using as well as one more down there. If it feels pretty good in the 3D printed material, it's gonna feel even better in the bent metal. Uh, one additional thing we're gonna add is, um, I'll call it a pedal stop. I think that's pretty important because uh, if anybody's ever been driving, like racing, um, there's always a point where you just feel like, hey, maybe I can go a little faster if I push a little harder. So we don't ever wanna get to the place where somebody can deform um, our metal bracket. So we're gonna actually also include a stop. So meaning it'll be a little bit, just a tiny bit after full pedal. So if they keep on pushing, um, it can flex a little bit and hit that um, and not damage anything. Got the accelerator pedal in place, everything looks good. Um, the 3D printed bracket is great. We're gonna go ahead and make that out of aluminum. Um, and the other thing is I've got the wires going kind of up and around and down here. So this is where the wires are. That's the VCU, so that's where the wires need to go. Um, I'm not likely gonna wire them right now. There's a gazillion wires that need to go to that. So I'll probably do those all at the same time. Um, that way, if I need to take things in and out or uh, redo placement of wires or stuff, it'll still be easy. But for now, we've got all the wires uh, labeled and going to the right place. This is the accelerator bracket, and this one is the top of the brake pedal. It is gonna be super hard to show you everything, but uh, we're able to kind of make this design and we've got bends and holes and things all over the place. But as you can see, it lines up perfectly with th that, those ones. And there's even some up top right there. So this will be a very secure pedal bracket. So we'll go ahead and mount the pedal and get everything Loctited in place. And the pedal is in place. I'm absolutely loving the position. We got uh, just the right amount all around. And that feels so steady and firm. Loving this. All right, this is gonna be super hard to show you, but the brake pedal, if you remember, we had one last piece that we didn't quite get to. And I've just put it in place there. So, there was one bolt hole that uh, was up there and we had to saw off a part and we got it back from Send Cut Send. So I'm just gonna epoxy this in place so we can weld it. All right, just put a little dab on either side. We'll let that set up and then we'll go ahead and weld it.
All right, there it is, tacked in place with the bolt through. All these ones are lined up, so again, I think we're good to do a full weld. All right, there's the weld. One on that side, one on that side. Go ahead and clean this up and give it another layer of paint. This one is all welded and painted. Looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the car for the last time. It shouldn't come out again. Both pedals are complete. Again, love the spacing. Um, this one, again, is super, super rigid. I'm really pleased with the bracket that we made. This one also super rigid. Again, everything worked out really well with the bracket and adapter plate. And again, just really pleased with the eye booster for the braking system. So again, uh, these are now gonna be all done. We've got uh, wiring that still needs to be uh, put over to the vehicle control unit. We'll just hook up the brake switches and this will be done. It's the other one that's the brake switch. There, so those are all clipped in. So we got a lot done. We got the charging system ready to go. I hope you like these rapid fire updates. We've got a lot more for you. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.